A 15-month-old boy has been taken off life support after authorities say he choked on a toy at a Westside daycare center. JFRD responded to the tip-top 24-hour learning center on Blanding Boulevard late yesterday morning, rushing 15-month-old Malik Baker to the hospital in critical condition. His mother says a daycare worker told her she stepped out of the room for a minute, and when she came back, her son was unresponsive. The Florida Department of Children and Families is investigating. News 4 Jackson reporter Allison Henning is joining us live. Allison, what a tragedy. You've been looking into the history of this daycare. I have it open back in 2016, and since then, there have been several violations. The Florida Department of Children and Families is investigating an incident at the tip-top 24-hour learning center that left a 15-month-old baby dead. According to this JSO incident report, Malik Baker arrived to the hospital in critical condition with major brain damage. The report says nurses had to revive him six times. Police calling this a case of aggravated child abuse. His parents devastated. <laughs> And I don't know how I'm going to tell my kids. Amber Lee and Earl Baker tell News 4 Jax they want justice for Malik and answers from the people who work here. I just want to know what happened to my baby. I want a little bit of closure because we just sat up in the hospital for hours and I held my, hand, my baby's hand while his heart stopped beating. This daycare center opened its doors to children two years ago. During inspections, DCF has found several Class 2 violations, including no credentialed director, unsafe physical environment, and insufficient staff. That last violation listed from May this year. And we have been trying to speak with employees at this daycare center. When I approached a woman here yesterday, she shut that blue door before I could ask any questions. And a man came out and said he did not want to be interviewed today. The gate here is chained shut. And when we knocked today, there was no answer. And when we called, no answer there as well. Reporting live tonight, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.